Hi, this is just a quick little video to show you how to do a clean install of 7 Days to Die. So what you first do is you go to your Steam library and you right click on 7 Days to Die. Then you click, um, oh, where is it? Delete local content. Now I don't want to delete my seven days to die, so I'm not going to click that, but that's what you do. It will then say that it's, you know, it will ask you, are you sure, I think. And then it will uninstall the game. However, after you have uninstalled it, there are still some files left behind. You can find these files, you go to um, your C drive, um, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Comment, and you'll find a folder, 7 Days to Die. So what you want to do is click on this, and then right-click, and select Delete, or you can just hit the Delete key, and that will delete that folder. Now, there is another location that has 7 Days to Die files, and that's under your username, app data, roaming, and then you'll find a folder called Seven Days to Die. You hit the click on left click on that, then hit the delete key, or you can right click and you can select delete. Now I'm not going to do it because I don't want to delete my game. At that point, all of your Seven Days to Die files should have been removed from your computer. And then you go back to your library and seven days of die will be grayed out and then you uh, it will say install here instead of play and you just click install and it will reinstall the game then you launch it and uh, you'll have to make a new player profile or you can use one of the new presets um, and of course all your saved games will be gone and you'll have to start a new game so I hope this helped you. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. I have seven days to die. Seven days to die. Seven days to die. Seven days to die. Seven days to die.